Welcome, and on this video we're doing a product review for the Papero robot by NEC Corporation. So if you want to see how this cute little robot friend has been living with humans, then please stay tuned. Great, we're at the cinema. I'm here with you, Papero. Brilliant. Oh, this is a great film. I'm glad I'm here with you, mate. My only friend. I'm glad I'm here with you. Right. Brilliant. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com. Now on this video we're looking into the NEC Corporation Papero Robot Companion. The Papero, which stands for Partner Type Personal Robot, is a personal robot developed by Japanese firm NEC Corporation. It is noted for its cute appearance and facial recognition skills. The robot's development began in 1997 with the first prototype, the R100. The name Papero was adopted in 2001. Papero has been researched and developed with the intent to be a partner with human beings and it being able to live together with them. For this reason it has various basic functions for the purpose of interacting with people. Since the original introduction of Papero there has been a few different versions, including a childcare version, 2003 and 2005 revised revisions and a Papero Gyro, a robotic comedian. In 2006, a virtual Papera was released for the use of any PC running the Windows operating system and the Pocket PC, which can be used to program or monitor the use of the Papero operating system. For Papero to interact with people and perform autonomous actions, it must understand information on conditions of and outside the location where it has been put. For this reason, various devices have been included to detect the outside area, such as CCD cameras, microphones, ultrasonic sensors, etc. In spring 2009, NEC introduced Papero Mini, weighing half the current Papero model and physically dimensions roughly half the size of the original. The Papero Mini has several enhanced abilities and has small LCD monitor on the front of its chest. To run through some of the specifications for the Papero, the height of the Papero is 385mm, the width of it is 248mm, the depth is 245 and the weight is 5kg. It has continuous operating time of about 2-3 to three hours, the charging time of the battery is 2-3 to three hours as well before you can reuse it, the number of recognisable words is about 3000 in speaking mode and the number of speaking words is about 3000 also. Papero is a little helper during the day and can play games with people. When asking questions like, is today a good day for a date, or is today a good day for a drive, Papero will connect to the internet, obtain a weather report or information about the personal fortunes, and then say if today is a recommended day. If Papero is in a good mood, it will dance to please people. So basically Papero has a cheerful character that enjoys speaking with people but will change depending on the way it interacts with people. Changes in character are expressed by the way it speaks, its voice quality, its music and by the way it moves. The Papero has a whole host of different characteristics. Leader Papero. This character was developed first. It's easygoing and does what it likes. It likes talking with people and it's good at imitating and dancing. It dances according to its mood adapting to the march, which is the theme music for Leader Papero. Knowledgeable Papero. Hmm. 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 This character will inform people of various information on the internet. It will not say what it likes or dislikes, but people can interpret its feelings from its slight gestures. If people speak to it in any way they wish, it will sulk or become naughty. Papero talks in a polite manner using speech synthesizers. Dancing Papero. This character is a little bit headstrong but really likes to dance and it's happy if people praise it. It has different theme music than Leader Papero and has a speciality dance that it matches to the music. Using speech synthesizers, it talks in a friendly tone of voice. Lazy Papero. If people do not interact with Papero, it will become lazy. If people answer its questions and set it up properly, it will become serious. Computer Papero. <laughs> this character does what people say, but does not speak to people. If treated affectionately, such as praise or rubbing its head, Papero will move around and start to talk to people. 
Like robots in the old days, it will speak in an autonomous voice. The Pera uses different technologies to interact with its environment. For example, its eyes are really twin cameras with a face recognition system. When the Pera has nothing to do, it roams around looking for people's faces. Upon finding one, it will try to start a conversation. The Pera also has a speech recognition system. With a pair of sensitive microphones, it can determine exactly where a sound comes from and if the sound is human speech. The robot will then interpret the information and respond accordingly. While the pair roams around, it uses an ultrasound system located in the chest to detect objects. If an object lies in its path, the pair's ultrasound system will detect where exactly the object is and then the pair will decide what to do to avoid the object. The pair also has other sensors located in its head which can detect if the robot is patted, slapped, etc., with Papero responding accordingly. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the Prepare Robot by NEC Corporation. Now if you like this product review and want to see even more robot reviews, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well, I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Prepare Robot. If you have any questions or want to see any product reviews of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.